Do you want to know all about the Park Place neighborhood in Norfolk? A very unique neighborhood. You might not have heard too much about it. Well, I'll go all into detail with you and we're starting right now. Hey, my name is Sam Sansalone and I'm a real estate agent in Hampton Roads, Virginia. And if it's your first time to this channel, welcome. Hit that subscribe button and the bell notification and uh, you'll get notified every time I do a video. Uh, I do them all the time, every week about Hampton Roads and Hampton Roads and real estate. And I help people from all over, literally all over the world, move into the Hampton Roads area, all the cities. So if you have any questions about moving to this area, please let me know. You can email me, contact me by phone, uh, whatever is the best way. I'll drop my contact information in the description. And today we're talking about Park Place. It's a neighborhood right in the middle of Norfolk and it's surrounded by lots of areas that we've talked about in other videos, but we haven't talked about this one yet. And so I wanna get into some detail, show you the differences between this area and others around it, and give you the pros and cons, give you some uh, history information, uh, real estate information, restaurants and shopping, and what it's like to live in this area uh, if you do plan to move uh, to Norfolk. So first of all, where is Park Place? Well, on the map you'll see lots of areas we've talked about before. We've talked about Ghent, we've talked about Larchmont, we've talked about Colonial Place, uh, bordering around the north and northwest and west sides of Norfolk. I've done other videos about these areas. But right next to all these areas is this area called Park Place. And in Park Place holds several little smaller subdivisions. Uh, Old Dominion Place, uh, Kensington, Park Place itself, and Virginia Place. These make up the general Park Place area. And so you're only about 10 minutes away from downtown Norfolk. You're really close to Ghent, and just several minutes away from Ghent. You're about 20 to 25 minutes away from downtown Virginia Beach, the town center, and then about 35-ish minutes to the oceanfront of Virginia Beach. So let's talk about the history of Park Place. Well, this is an old neighborhood. So this is one of those neighborhoods, I've talked about these before, where it was designed uh, for streetcars to have streetcar transport from Park Place to downtown Norfolk back oh, like 100 year plus years ago. And another thing about this area is that a lot of these houses were kit houses. I mentioned these before, but they're craftsman kit houses uh, that they were they were literally there as a kit and you could build these houses from a kit. But for a long period of time in the early 1900s, this was a pretty common thing. It was put on the National Register of Historic Places in 2005. But these houses were built about 100 plus years ago uh, in that time period. Starting in the 1900 time period and going up to 1930, 40, and 50. Now I want to bridge the history part of this into the uh, real estate part of this because they kind of go hand in hand. So from the 1950s-ish to literally like in the 2000s, early 2000s, this area suffered a pretty significant downturn. It wasn't a very desirable place to live. Houses became dilapidated and it wasn't until like the early to mid 2000s where builders would build individual houses on lots, vacant lots in this neighborhood because it was a cheap place to buy lots. So they could then resell these houses, brand new houses for as low as they possibly can, the lowest really in the city or in the area. And so starting in like 2003, 2004, 2005, this area started to get more active with new construction. So what you would do is you drive through the neighborhood and you'd see vacant lots and lots of old craftsman style houses. But those lots would eventually get bought by builders. Then they'd build new houses in those lots. And so you'll see a lot of old houses and then new ones intermittently placed wherever builders could find lots. So the idea was that in the, in the 2000s, people started thinking this, this area would turn around and uh, would increase in value. Well, it did increase in value some, but the growth of this area has taken a lot longer than people probably wanted to, to hope for. So it's still not in as desirable of an area as the areas around it. But there are some positives to being in this area that I'll mention. One is the style of houses. These houses are the same style uh, a lot of times as the areas like, for instance, in Ghent, in Larchmont, in Colonial Place, which are neighborhoods around this neighborhood that are in high demand. So you can get a craftsman style house, for instance, that you normally have to pay $400,000, $500,000 and get it for $250 uh, in a park place. Or you can buy a, a rundown house in this area for $100, you know, $150 and redo it. That while the growth of this area hasn't happened very quickly, there's still lots of potential here. So typically the houses in here right now now in 2020 or price, most of them within like the 160 and 270 price range. You'll see some that are a little bit higher, some that are a little bit lower. Uh, there are some apartment style condos that will sell in that $80,000 to $100,000 price range with, with condo fees. And you'll see some of these houses, you look at them, they're huge. I mean, you'll see them there, four bedrooms, five bedrooms, six bedrooms sometimes, over 3,000 square feet. But most of them are in that three to four bedroom and 1,500 to 2,500 to 3,000 square feet. So they're great for people that need lots of space, but also don't want to pay too much for their house. There's a lot of area hidden here that's still run down. It has not been as revitalized as other areas around it. You see lots of, you know, older buildings 
buildings, run down buildings, um, strip malls that are just older. They're just, it's just the feel of this neighborhood is not the same as it is in Ghent and Colonial Place and anywhere around here. There's a reason why the prices in Park Place are often like half or more of the price in Ghent or Larchmont. But on the south side of Park Place, there's an area called the Railroad District. And in this dis district, you're seeing some things being built up, new apartment buildings, for instance. There is a brewery called O'Connor Brewery that's close to this area that I love going to myself. There are some other little restaurants in here too that you can start seeing the life being breathed into Park Place. And so there's some encouragement that I have to where the value of this property can increase uh, as revitalization continues to happen. But then as you drive through Park Place, you will see some streets that don't feel like they're in good shape. Uh, but then you'll see some others that uh, have several new houses built on, in a row or a whole block feels like it's brand new. So that is the trade-off for being in a place like Park Place. It's all different, all the houses are different, all the, vi the vibe can change from street to street. So I would encourage you, if you do wanna save money and go to Park Place, be aware of which street you're, you're picking. But this coincides with some things I don't like about Park Place that I'll tell you about later in the video. So this is a popular place for people to buy and renovate houses to flip and also people to buy vacant land and put new houses on there. Now for the school system. Most of this area is covered by Maury and Granby High School. Now the middle school is Blair Middle and then there are several elementary schools. James Monroe and Granby Elementary are all uh, supporting this area. Now for shopping, there's not a whole lot in uh, Park Place. Uh, I would say the closest uh, places are the ones that are in Ghent. Uh, there's a food line just north of Ghent as well as an Aldi which is on the top, the northern part of Ghent that are the closest grocery stores. So you might frequent those the most if you do live in Park Place and don't want to go too far. Otherwise, your closest shopping is going to still be about 10 minutes away to downtown Norfolk or again, about 20 to 25 minutes to town center as well as there are other like Walmart, there's a Walmart about 10 to 12 minutes away as well. There are things close by but not super close. Now restaurants, I mentioned the growth starting to happen a little bit here and there in Park Place. Well. Some of these old industrial buildings were perfect for restaurants. So uh, Toast is a, a restaurant that is on the south side of Park Place that almost borders Ghent that's very popular. And just north of that is a place called Handsome Biscuit, which is a really popular, small little place, but incredible biscuits. They sell not just the biscuits, but they make sandwiches out of the biscuits. You can have one that's like a, just a big chicken biscuit, super good. Another restaurant in this area is called Croker Spot. Most of the places you might end up going for restaurants or just going to do might end up taking you down to Ghent, like at 21st Street or in the, in the further south and western sections of the city. Now, what I don't like about Park Place, there are a couple realities to deal with here. One is high crime. That's often one of the influences behind a higher or lower price point is often the crime. So what I would suggest is check these statistics. I'll link the, the Trulia maps, the crime maps below. It's not like the entire area is like this, but there are lots of areas that have high crime. Some of the important things to know about new construction or renovated houses or houses like this in these neighborhoods that do have high crime is not all of the areas have high crime. So try and find different spots that might be different or might have lower crime in the neighborhood. So if you find a spot that's pretty nice to you, uh, you may have found a really good deal in a place that may have been depressed because of other factors that are not influencing that specific house. In addition to that, the school systems are not highly rated, uh, generally speaking. And so I'll drop links below for the uh, niche.com school rankings. So one strategy you can put in place if you're okay with this is, for instance, instead of looking in Colonial Place, if you just go a little south and the north side of Park Place, you might find Find a house that's cheaper that you might like even though that 38th street uh, border and the other borders around park place are pretty busy roads so if you live on those roads uh, you might find that the noise is and activity is not for you but there might be some pockets that you might find some good value in uh, if you want to stay in a lower price range but i highly recommend you to check your crime statistics check the school zone uh, ratings make sure you're comfortable and are aware of what's around here but knowing that you can get some good value in here at good prices especially for people that are willing to invest or want to flip in here and and I will see you on the next video.